from the Bartram Trail. Today I'm slowly heading north on the trail. Right now I'm parked at Waya Ball. There's multiple places to park and there's trash cans and uh, uh, pit toilets. So that's nice. But I'm going to slowly head, well, going to walk east on the Bartram Trail to meet up with where I left off last week and then head back this way. So part of today, like this first little part, and if I were heading west, maybe I'll go farther west, but it looks like maybe thunderstorms, so we'll see. But it actually overlaps with the Appalachian Trail. Uh, Waya Bald, I was like, I'm walking up towards Waya Bald, excited and going, oh, I remember this from when I hiked it on the AT uh, several years ago now. So I'm excited, let's go. The AT and the Bartram Trail. Let's see the name. Waya comes from the Cherokee Indian word. Looks like Waya, meaning wolf. Alright, I am at the top of the burned fire tower. And it is a gorgeous day. Oh my goodness, look at that view right there. Stunning. And. So, I wish the sky was a little clear. It's so a beautiful view. I'm glad to see it's a lot greener when I came past here in 2017. A lot more of it was burned. So, it's slowly healing. Apparently I forgot where the trail goes. I saw a little side trail and so I backtracked from the tower, went uh, went that side trail, which looped back to the sidewalk again, continued down to like, wait, was I supposed to just go on past the tower? Yeah. <laughs> so back at the tower again, finally heading east on the Barton Trail. It's already starting out as a gorgeous, green day. Oh, so pretty. Just just watch out for the stinging nettle because there's a quite a lot of it already. But it's pretty out. <laughs> okay, I've reached the official AT Bartram Trail split. That direction was the AT. That direction is the Bartram Trail, and that way is the way I came, where they are connected. So, oh, and off to this direction is a shelter if we need to stay at the shelter. I guess I won't be passing it. The trail is uh, getting to be a little overgrown. <laughs> The trail is steep, so that's looking straight on, and that's looking down at the trail. It doesn't even look that steep, especially on camera, but, oh, my body feels it. I made it to the spot where I turned around last week. You didn't get to see, because it was uh, basically dark. So I don't this is Harrison Gap. I know not super exciting, but you can park here. At least if you look on the Topa maps, it shows you can park here. There's enough room for like maybe two cars, maybe a couple more over there. Um, yeah, not very big. It is definitely a gravel dirt road, but it looks doable for a car. A uh, quick note on the Harrison Gap though, uh, if you try to use Google Maps, it will take you to a completely different area that is wrong. Like, I double checked that. Before I came out here, because I almost parked here, I was like, oh, uh, this uh, Harrison Gaps in North Carolina on Google Maps is completely 
different area. So you either have to use the topo maps to figure out exactly where to turn because uh, this forest road is not on Google Maps or just go to a different location. Just gonna get driving by but decided to just stop and block the trail. Okay. So I just paused real quick to talk to a father-daughter duo. Daughter looks like I'm probably a preteen or so. Awesome. They gave them, you know, they wanted to know how far it was to the road and then they gave me a tip that apparently there's like just past or just west of the lake store. There's a little side trail. So it's like a half mile or so down to an amazing like swim site waterfall. They showed me little videos and it it does look amazing. I'm so excited. So I'm at least telling you or it's like recording this so that I will remember where it's at. Um, hopefully I'll remember. I mean, I don't, I'm not gonna make it there today. So I'm going so slow on time, but, and I'm just too far away. But for next time I come out, depending on how far away it is, but probably next time I come out. Finally made it back to the to where the Bartram Trail and Appalachian Trail overlap. So heading west from Wayabald. I'm exhausted. The trail, like between the trail not being very well maintained and um, just the steepness, the like elevation change. I'm tired. I also don't think I probably properly fueled yesterday. Oh well. But I never thought I'd see the day when I got back to the AT. It's like, oh, thank you. It's so much easier here. <laughs> are out. Oh, I finally left the AT behind. Oh, we'll cross it again eventually. But it's back to being difficult to walk through. Lots of this is not too steep yet, but it's definitely full of thick grass. Hey. Come upon a beautiful field. This field, <laughs> the grass is tall. It's uh, well above my waist, but it's pretty. Well, this is beautiful. I can't wait to come back and continue walking through this field. There's this ran this is really tall stick marking the trail. Good thing, because it's being lost, but I'm running out of daylight and it's time to turn around. So that is it for today's section. Maybe I'll be back 